Okay, guys, so this will be my last part. I think it's part three to my bathroom tutorial slash shower curtain design with teal, black, and orange. Um, now, you see here, uh, the last video I stopped out, I showed you how to drape the towels, pull them up, pull it down, and how I safety pinned it in the back, which you can't see, and then did the tie. So, I kind of went to sleep and I, you know, uh, played with my design a little bit because that's what I do sometimes is I can't think right off of my head, but I play with it. And I came up with this design to do a border so that it makes the actual color pop more based off of this tassel and the border. So I chose the border black because I'm trying to tie in the colors with this picture here and still have everything pop out at the same time. So this is the look and this is how I did it. You simply just fold your towel in half. It doesn't even have to be an expensive towel. Um, this one came from Walmart. I tried to get something that, you know, didn't look too plain but had some kind of nice look to it. So it has these pleats in this towel. So all I did was pull our designated design towel forward and we'll pull the black towel through here. You can even do a look like that if you want. So, I mean, there's many different looks that you can kind of do and see what you want to go with. But you could do a look like this where it just drapes down um, or switch it up. You know, it doesn't always have to be the same. So, for this particular design, I am going to stick with the border. So, I brought it back there. You kind of just straighten it as you go so that it won't look messy and see if i end up with this here i don't want this to show i preferably want this in the back so there is going to be like where you have to make adjustments so basically just pull towards the right a little more fold it back and around and you still you know of course you gotta adjust some more And you can pull it here and safety pin it here. Let me see how I did this one. This one, the safety pin is in the back. So let's try to get it to where this one safety pins in the back also. So, okay. So I'm looking at that design on it. It's pulled all the way towards the middle to start the border. So I put it towards the middle here in the front, bringing my border around, still trying to make sure it's neat and it looks okay. So I'm holding the border in the middle, pull it around, and with it starting in the middle front, I will have that same look that that one has. A smooth look with, once again, taking one of my safety pins like this and taking it in the back, poking it through both of the towels, kind of thick, so let's see, and then we kind of poke it through the other layer of the towel to make sure that it stays. We pin it, and there we have our bow tie. You know how they say black tie. We have our bow tie, teal, blue, green, with our black border, and also your tie knots to kind of bring it out a little bit more. Um, and that's the look that I'm going for today. As I say, you can change it, bring it down, bring it up different ways. Um, I just kind of play with it and see. Now, in the inside of the bathroom, remember we have still our drapery slash shower curtain with um, our flower, which is an art piece from Ross that I actually uh, wire twisted up there. So coming into the bathroom, 
on the back. I chose to do this. Now this little shelf here, it's a little bit lighter, but it still goes. Um, I chose to do a shelf so I can have more of an elegant look in here. Um, cheap, I think it was $7 at Ross or something like that. Um, probably because these knobs are missing. But what I'm gonna do is um, get the E6000 glue and I have jewels that I'm just gonna hide those holes there, um, make it look nice. These came from the Dollar Tree. These are candle holders. Um, I chose the silver because the bathroom has black, orange, and silver in it. Uh, the tea lights. You don't have to put real candles. We don't want anybody burning up the bathroom. But I just did simple tea light candles like that um, up here for that ambiance. Uh, if you want, whoever's going to be in the bathroom, if it's kids or adults, um, you still can have the relaxation ambiance there. Um, this one came from the Dollar Tree, too. Same thing. These came from Dollar Tree, too. Um, sometimes if you catch them on a good day, you can pretty much catch good deals. Um, also, this picture frame, Dollar Tree. I didn't take it out yet um, because I was still trying to put all this on the video so you guys are able to see um, where some of the items came from, cheaper stores and still was able to create a nice look. Like, see, this picture frame doesn't look like a Dollar Tree picture frame, but you can put anything in here. Um, bathroom pictures, scenic pictures, something relaxing. And I also got this. Well, I already had this in the bathroom, so I just used it for in here, but um, that's basically for that look. I'll put this in here for now. So what I did was also same thing here with the um, towels. I kind of played with the towel, so I kind of went with this like um, sort of flap looking shape of the towel. And what I did also was safety pins. That's one of my best tools that I can use where you still get a nice look clean. And what I did here was, okay, I'm gonna try to remember, rip the tag off of that. That came from Ross, that was on sale, $2.99. So, what I think I did here was I folded it in half like it is there. Um, we'll switch this side. So see how the ridges are on this side? I turned the towel around so these ridges are on that side. And basically what I think I did was just fold it in half and that go under or over. Okay, so how I'm going to try to create the same look where we're still incorporating um, the orange, teal, and the black um, to still bring it out is I folded it in half. Like I said, the ridges are on this side. So I think I took it from the middle here, placed it around here. And what I'm going to do is take my safety pin. Again, we love safety pins poke it through the bottom of it, which is underneath that little spout. So you actually have something to hold the towel and click it. And most of your towel is going to hide um, the safety pin to where you can't see it. So just kind of fold this flap in the middle there, fold that one in, and there you have the same look as over there. Now all I have to do now after this is get my tie like this one is. I simply pulled it back here, tied a knot, and came up with that same look. Um, it's up to you. If you wanna go, you know, another black towel in here or, you know, however you wanna do it. But I just did it simple with this one because um, the kids come in here a lot, so. Sometimes they ruin your towels, dry in hand. So I just did an orange towel with a design that could still bring in the tail. But you can, you know, do different things. You know, you can pull in like this and do ties like that. That's, you know, a different look where you can tie it here. Um, I'm sure if I think of anything else, then I will subscribe. But this... And the bathroom hamper is basically it. I'll um, 
take pictures show you guys pictures of the whole thing now that it's done without the tutorial um but i tried to explain everything to you guys so hope you guys like it subscribe like uh all of my uh tutorials my designs and i will be coming back the next thing that i will do the project is um kind of in my living room with a mosaic tile mirror and rhinestones so subscribe like it let me know what you guys think Thank you.